Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds. So let's talk about double deeps real quick. Here we are, pretty much November, almost there. Let's talk double deeps. So there's been a big trend lately about beekeepers saying that, oh, you need to do skinnier hives, or you need to do shorter hives, like mediums. And hey, if you know me, you know I love beekeeping. I'm more about fundamentals, keeping your bees healthy. I like to try new equipment. We're gonna be trying probably some new stuff next year. I've already got a couple of new things in the works. I have no problem with it. I find it fascinating and I love it. I really wanna to go to some of the other countries where they keep different sizes of beehives and I wanna see what they're doing. You can never learn too much. Even though a lot of it will not translate to helping me out as far as what I choose to do, it's just cool. It's really neat. And different areas have more advantages towards one piece of equipment or the other. However, let's check in this hive and just see if double deeps work. Now, some people recommend only doing single deeps as well. This is why we do double deeps. This is also why people like in Vermont, like Michael Palmer, do double deeps. Look at that top box. That's a pretty good bit of bees. Now, of course, you're like, well, heat rises. whoop de doo Cayman. All the bees are up in the top box. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now, these bees are probably going to be a little aggressive, so if you see me running away and screaming like a little girl, that's because it is rainy and the bees are not, haven't been smoked in that bottom box yet. Woo! Apotherapy is really good for your author arthritis, I've heard. This box is heavy too. Check out those bees underneath. Yeah. You can't stick that in one box. And why would you? Now you want to talk about some bees that are going to be ready to make some honey next year. These things are going to be wanting to swarm March 1st. Last year we had our first swarm cells on hives like that. I think it was the 8th of March. And I think we did a better job this year getting our bees ready for winter. Whew, that top box was heavy. That's one of the disadvantages of double deeps though. So I'm not saying you have to do it my way. I'm just saying keep an open mind because there's a lot of people that want to talk about how you know, the bees do so much better and all this stuff. But really, it's not about the equipment that you use. It's about managing the equipment that you use appropriately with your season, with the time of the year, whatever you're trying to accomplish, whether it's bee production, honey production, a little bit of both, and most importantly of all, having good young queens, dead mites, and good nutrition when the bees need it. A lot of people overlooked that last one because they think, oh, there's, there's pollen coming in. We had some pollen coming in this fall. It was not good enough for the bees. We had to feed some patties to make sure that the brood was looking good. We want plenty of royal jelly slash worker jelly, which is a little bit different in concentration. They have to have plenty of that if the bees are going to live a long time, especially going through a winter. We have a short winter, so it's not as big of a deal, but for you, those of you up north, nutrition is going to be more crucial if your bees are overwintering for four or five months. So again, you got to focus on those three things. Those are the most important things I can tell you. Now there's some things that go along with it. Our videos try to show you that. However, if you have really good queens, just you don't even have to have great, the greatest queens, just good, well-mated queens, and your mites are down, and you have good nutrition, you're either going to be producing lots of honey, you're going to be producing lots of bees to sell, or you're going to be producing a lot of bees to go into your neighbor's barns or into the trees. That's what's going to happen. I really like double deeps. This hive's going to make a lot of honey next year. We'll be showing you. Sorry about the rant. And it's not really that much of a rant. Just more of an encouragement to keep your minds open. And now that the rain's starting to really crank it up, we're out of here. Thanks for watching.